have you seen Jim Ross at like an autograph convention or anything since? Yeah, we, we made up. We did the we did the hug makeup thing. What about you and uh, Shane Helms? You got you had that fight. Have you guys made up we, since? We, we've done the we've done the hug makeup thing two or three times. Now that those stitches, those were from him throwing a water bottle at you, I guess. They, that's the word. They threw it. He hit me with a rock solid, solid frozen bottle of water. He hit me in that, and my head fucking split open, of course. But but I even heard of the day a guy was really taken up for me about the match with Booker and all that. And he said, he said, him and him seemed to get in a fight after he threw some water at him. I was like, threw some fucking water at me. This motherfucker hit me with a ton of bricks. A brick, basically. But I wasn't looking. I was walking away from him. I don't want this to get out and to be ugly. And if he hears this, please don't take this wrong way. I'm just saying it's, that's the truth. You didn't throw it at me. You fucking hit me with it. You know you did. So let's not make a big deal of it, please. But boom, he hit me. And the boys started looking at me like, come on. You know, lie, lie. And here comes John Ace and, and those guys over. They start looking at Fit Finley. And Fit Finley was there, and they looked at me and said, "What happened? What happened?" And I said, and I, saw, I look, looked at a, uh, ten or eleven set of eyes, and they they were all like just begging me, and I went, I slipped and fell because they knew. Well, we thought we knew <laughs> that that I had a job for sure. And they didn't know they did or not. So Helms is in the bathroom holding a towel on my head. I cried and talking to him. I said, dude, don't worry about it. It's my fucking fault. I hit you first. I'm the bad guy here as usual. Fucking don't worry about it. Fucking be fine. I, I somehow got Mark Jendrak. Remember him? Yeah. He helped me go at that hotel room. Then I think somebody got murdered in there. They had to, because I, I was having to pack all my shit, and my head was just profusely bleeding, you, you can't get it to stop. So finally, I, I got it on, and we got it wrapped up enough to, to, to let them not see it when I took off. I went to Atlanta, and it was my own doctor, and had it had it done. That didn't call them, didn't complain, didn't say anything, I did it. And I came to the next WWE event, WF, still at the time. And the Hardy Boys and Hounds are walking toward me, and I wave at them. And none of them waved back. And I went, okay. Straight to Johnny Ace. And I said, Johnny, I said, Kind of from that, you know. He, my John was really he was on the limb too. He only had he was his he was his job was to control twelve guys that WWF had hired. That was Johnny's job. That was it. He had no stroke. He he built stroke, but he had no stroke then. Right. He came from WCW, right? He was the Finnish guy there or something. He was the Finnish guy at WCW, yes. And so he fuck he goes in. And um, I said, dude, we got to talk. I said, uh, listen, I, so I tell him the whole story. I tell him about me and Helms and me slapping Helms and me turn around going, God, you fucked up again. And wham, I get hit. And somehow I don't fall, which I don't have any idea. I really don't. I don't claim myself to be a badass. I've never claimed myself to be a badass. But how I didn't fall, I have no idea with this kind of hit. It was brutal. Why did you hit him to begin with? Is that just passing? We were in the ring and we had the best workout of our day, of our week. We put like three guys in each corner, three, six, nine, twelve. So we put three guys in each corner. Okay. And we just would tag in and out and you just called out loud. But, you know, in, in K Fab, your, 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 your spot, 
but at least you learned how to run the ropes and it was two feet bigger and and all that. That they were about to be in two feet bigger than and bothering us. And it didn't, of course, you know, we, but but still you gotta play along. So I did. And so we had the best workout we had, but Helm that day didn't do nothing. I worked my fucking ass off that day. And Helms didn't do nothing that day. And so we're all sitting in the ring, and I'm on the floor with my arms on the apron. And he goes, they go, uh, I said, yeah, good workout, man. Goes, thank you, thank you, guys. You know, da, da. And Helms says something about pills or, you know, something. And I go, you know what I can't wait for? I said, I can't wait for your first WWF interview. I said, it'll sound something like this. I said, hey, this is a fucking thing. And I said, I said, you fucking can't even talk. I said, you fucking kidding me? Well, he went with the hair next. Saying I was bald. And all this is true, so you should be mad at hearing this. This is just, I'm just telling the truth. He went bald, and I said, look, bro, he was laying on the bottom rope with his elbows. I said, look, bro, we can stop right now, or I'm going to just beat your fucking brains out. Either way you want it. Either way you want to do. He went to speak, like, make your next, like, that kind of thing, and whack. I opened hand slapped him, and it rolled him into the turnbuckle. I walk and way to go, you idiot. You lost another job. Way to go. You, you poked it, you blew it again. Whack! <laughs> Fucking whack. And I took up, I said, guys, y'all have already texted 20 people that you know what's happened. I said, let's don't do this. But I still stuck with it. My God, uh, the guys asked me to do. Went home, got it all done, came back, and when I saw the non wave, I went to the right Chinese. So Johnny got us all together. And he said, Look, you can shake fucking hands, make up right now, let's figure this thing out. We got to fucking make this thing work. That was the same night that me and Booker were wrestling, you know. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.